party flyers. Mm -hmm. When did this all of a sudden become like nah, like like now? Uh, what was the next level to that? What was so the so next when step I graduated up? BCC and I was doing my portfolio, I did my website, I did my portfolio. You got to apply to this art school. My mind was going all crazy. Like I need to. And when I went to the interview, and they went to all my work, I've done like a thousand amazing, beautiful flyers. They literally told me, "This is the weakest thing in your portfolio." Wow! And it, it took me like two or three years to understand that. Okay. Because it's. Well, so what? What you do in those two, three years in order to become? Well, to that I had other things. Like I've, I have freelance for Soledad O'Brien. She, she's the anchor woman of, of H, uh, C, uh, CNN. Okay. She's a newscast, so she has her own foundation. I did stuff with her. Um, she even helped me pick the college. I'm not even gonna lie. She, she, she really looked out. Um, so I free I, I like every restaurant I went to. I used to leave my business card everywhere. Mm. So I I did end up freelancing and and doing a bunch of other stuff that I included in my portfolio. And I've always done personal work, mm -hmm. always. So like, BCC you know, was your Brown's like, community college. like your associates, and then you had to go to art school. Yeah, and then I went to Purchase University to uh, right. Purchase College. Wait, why didn't they like the the portfolio you gave them? Like what? They it, said it was eventually, good. I came to realize that if you do club flyers, are just the first thought. It's not about the first mm. thought. It's about what you can do with with what you have. So if you do, if you have the on-air uh, label, what does it look like on digital, on Facebook, on, on Christmas, on Thanksgiving? What does it look like on a bottle? What does it look like on, mm. on in shorts? It's gotta be transferable, basically. You know, yeah. and you ha it, has to, it has to live in order to have an identity. Mm. So a lot of people fail when they hire somebody to do a logo and they don't know what to do with the logo. Mm. You know, the logo has certain lockups, certain color schemes, certain mm -hmm. palettes. Mm -hmm. Logo should always live in one color. Um, and it's being able to place it in, 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 in places. It's all about the canvas. So, right, if it's a t-shirt, you know the canvas. You can put it on a sleeve. You can put it on the outside. It's the whole fucking t-shirt. You can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most people just go for straight for the chest mm -hmm. because it's visible, but you don't have to. And, right? and, and lock up for, for the audience. I'm just, cause I understand everything you're saying, but I also work with you. So <laughs> I just want to make sure the audience. Stop sucking up to the boss. <laughs> So when you have a, when you have a lockup, for example, this is a, 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 a stack lockup where it has attorneys in one line and then with swag in another line, and this is for use for smaller spaces. Right. Now, if you have longer spaces, a different lockup like here, it's all in one line. Mm -hmm. right, right. So that's two different lockups. So they just use for different occasions. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's what like logos should be able to be versatile. Like if you see the Burger King logo, yeah. the bigger one has the king, has the crown, has the name. The smaller one is just BK. Right. So they have different versions, different lockups of that gotcha. for different purposes. Right. right. Which is yeah. what you did with our brand, baby, because yeah. our markup could go on a water bottle, <laughs> it could go on a wall, it could go, it go on your ass, it could go, <laughs> <laughs> it 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 go on a hat. You see, just a lady, yeah, you know, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, you know. Exactly. Okay, so, exactly. Okay, and so, and so after that two years, and now you're like, wait a minute, now I understand what they are. Um, did, did, did your style change or, or it was like, no, okay, now when I have a creative idea, now, it, now it's going through this sophisticated filter. Oh, of course. I mean, I, everything changed because BCC to me taught me how to use the tools. They taught me how to, if I have this idea, these are tools that are going to get it out. Right. Purchase taught me how to think creatively, how to think mm. bigger, how to think conceptually. Right. Mm. Um, so at that point, I was teaching students already in both, in both schools. In BCC, I used to work at ePortfolio teaching students how to how to use the platform as a uh, a way to get business mm -hmm. so i started doing that in bcc and i, I got paid the, the department of education hired me so i can teach the students how to use the portfolio page right. how um, long were you at each school i was in uh bcc for two years and then purchased three because okay. they're a program they wanted me to do four but i'm like no <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Check my shit out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even be here the test, I told the, I told the guy, test me however you want. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pass that shit. Regardless. <laughs> do not make me take four years of college. 